Latinos have made it known that the economy is among their top three issues, along with immigration and education. And they are increasingly playing a role when it comes to America's economy. After all, they're starting businesses at three times the national rate. For LionPost.com, this is Turnout. I'm Michael Oleaga. As the administrator for the U.S. Small Business Administration, Maria Contreras Suite helps provide aid, counsel, and protects the interests of small businesses, including Latino entrepreneurs. For this edition of Turnout, we spoke with her about the SBA and its Latino and millennial outreach. We're excited to do a couple of things. One is to lift small businesses by honoring them, by celebrating the risks that they took as pioneers to help start new jobs, expand jobs in their communities. Small businesses are creating two out of three new jobs in America today. And America has experienced 61 months of consecutive job growth. That's because small businesses now employ half of the private workforce. So it's phenomenal. So we're celebrating that. But secondly, as we're approaching Mother's Day, Father's Day and graduations, we're saying when you think about shopping for mom, dads, and grads, we hope that you'll remember to shop small, shop local. Um, describe to us the impact of the Latino community on the U.S. economy. It's, the impact of the Latino community is enormous. What we see here is particularly, for example, immigrants are twice as likely to start a business. They're twice as likely to file a patent. Today, immigrants employ one out of every 10 employees. In fact, immigrants represent 40 percent. The CEOs are 40 percent of the Fortune 500. So it's important to recognize the contributions that immigrant population are making. There are reports out there saying that Latinos are more at risk of uh, failing their businesses. So what does the SBA, what can they do to provide a lifeline to Latino entrepreneurs? Well, we hope that all businesses, whether they're women, Latinos, or any community, we hope that they'll always come to SBA.gov to learn about where their counseling centers are. We have counseling centers for women, for veterans, and the small business development centers, and our 68 field offices. All of those provide opportunities to get proper counseling on how to grow or repair your business. What is SBA doing when it comes to the U.S. millennials? We have a brand new toolkit that we're uh, rolling out and we're on a road tour across the country to share with so many. Millennials have this very special energy that we're trying to capture. And so we've partnered with these new institutions that we call growth accelerators. Some people call them innovators. Uh, But these incubating places are where millennials are drawn. And so we've now partnered with them and we've brought them into the SBA ecosystem. How important are they to be engaged when it comes to small business issues? Well, the really important, uh, powerful point to make here is that as we think about other countries like Greece, like Italy, that have a flatline population and thus they have a declining economy, you really want to embrace everybody to make sure that we maximize and optimize our productivity per person. And Latinos are a growing population, and so to the extent that we embrace them and we help them start their businesses, It's in our DNA. We're more apt to start a business and we're having great success. So we're very, we're very, very much inspired by the contributions Latinos are making to society today and especially Latinas. In Los Angeles, for example, they told me that one in two new businesses that's starting is starting from a Latina. So it's very, very exciting to see the movement that Latinos are generating in terms of the entrepreneurial journey. Administrator Cotera Sweet, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Continued success to you. We really appreciate that you're amplifying the voice of the Latino community. We need to see more of that. How important do you think it is for small businesses to, I guess, reach out to SBA? It's very important because you cannot do it alone. Without the SBA and the loans they, they gave us, it would have taken a lot longer to open up our businesses. On behalf of small business, it was quite a pleasant surprise to see that she had wanted to come back. She remembered us and to assemble a great panel of a lot of very, very uh, incredible business people who are very uh, instrumental in helping launch small businesses. It was quite an honor having her here. And then the award in itself was quite a surprise as well. We were very honored. For more turnout, visit landpost.com and don't forget to follow us online. I'm Michael Oleaga. This has been Turnout.